obviously a, a great win and an even better performance today. Does this result maybe make Monday's result a bit more frustrating as well? Well, regardless of Monday's result, we you know we win today. We we still don't get the playoffs. So, but ultimately, you know, it's not acceptable the result. Um, we want to try and win every game of football. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think there's any team that can do that. But if you can instill the confidence that the players have had today, knowing that there's a slim chance of playoffs, going out there under no pressure, which equals an unbelievable performance. If we can try and instill that into every game, not worry about what anybody else is doing, just concentrate on our own performance, execute what we set out to do, which we have done today, um, you know, we'd win the league. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Um, disappointing from man and John's behalf in terms of where we finished in the league. But there'll be other managers that think that. But uh, ultimately, it's all about next season now. Uh, looking at how to improve on our mistakes, nail down what we want to be, um, hopefully get the players buying into what that is. And um, we have to finish better than what we have done uh, this season next year. Having spoken with the players post-match, what, what was the sort of atmosphere? Obviously, maybe a bit strange considering the win, but disappointing finish in the season generally yeah we had to we we had to finish on a high today we uh we know that there's people in and around the club disappointed with where we finished supporters um chairman ultimately think about the resources and the money that he puts into the football club all the you know um as managers as, as everybody everybody connected to the football club we 10 positions just not acceptable um but everybody knows that there's no point standing there going on about it what we have to do is rectify that now uh, and we have to do much better next season, uh, simple as. It's black and white. The, man, uh, the chairman's made it quite clear what uh, the expectations are from, from me and John as managers. Um, and, and, and he'll back us. Um, we've just got to make sure we get it right next year. You talk about next season. So what will be the first plan of action? And have you already started focusing on next season and how the team can improve as well? You're always shopping as managers. Every game you, 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 you take part in, you're always looking at opposition. You're always looking at players that can, that can make us better. Um, we, 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 we'll be looking at the, the release list in terms of clubs that are releasing players. Um, we've got to look at, use our contacts, our resources, um, get the message out there that we, we want a side that's going to compete next season. Uh, and with that, we want players that want to play for Spending More Town Football Club, not chasing the dream and the money. Um, and, and with that, the balance is always tough. But it's probably our, our hardest time of the season, whereas people think, you know, you're going to go on holiday, put your feet up. We've now got nine weeks to recruit, uh, make sure we get it right. And, and with that, there's always a chance you're going to get it wrong. Um, but ultimately, think positive, hopefully get the right players in, uh, get players in to complement the players we're keeping, the retaining. And with that, um, you know, nine times out of ten, people say you have to get it right. It's, it's getting the players that want to play for Spennymore. I think that's the question, and, and that's going to be the message for me and Jono in terms of um, liaising with Jason and people away from Spennymore. Um, and again, you know, you look players in the eye, they tell you that they want to play for the football club. But again, we look forward to next season. Although it's come to an end, we now start looking forward to next season, and, and a lot of people will go, you know, we're, we're devastated that it's finished, you need your break. You're, itching, you're chomping at the bit to get it started again uh, and, to, and to rectify what's going on wrong, wrong this season. Obviously there, we've just finished the presentation as well. Taylor picked up two awards and, and Tate picked up three. What, what do you think of their performances since you've came in? And well, walking through the door, knowing that you've got your centre forward in Glenn Taylor that scores 25 every season, without you you know, putting your sort of bit to it uh, and trying to make him a better player. Um, you know, Glenn, in terms of his numbers, he's been the best about in the last three or four seasons. Um, with that now we're, we're we're through the door. We, you know we need Glenn to go one better next year. Can he can he score thirty goals? Uh, and with that, obviously, you know helps you get to where you want to get to. Um, that's your centre forward you're talking about. Ultimately, you know you, you, your defence is they're hard to come by good centre halves at this level of football. And when we come through the door, um, I'm not I'm not convinced that you know Joe was playing the the, the football he's playing now. Uh, might be wrong to say that, but in terms of what we watched on Joe when we come through the door, we feel like in terms of his physique and and and, and He's trimmed down. He's back in the gym, and like you say, when you when, when you get managers player at year and you get supporters player at year, you know you've got it right. And, and with that, that gives Joe a massive pl platform and a belief that everybody wants to make the football club. And, and, and we're looking at big things next season from Joe. As well, a big departure today with the managing director Tony Wilson retiring from his role. Just sum up the impact he's had on the club over the last decade, from what you know as well. Yeah. I, I, People say there's no emotion in football and there's no sentiment and don't get um, you know don't 
don't get too close to people with Tony. That's so tough because he's such a gentleman and he's he's a fatherly figure. Um, you know, you know, look at him. He's he's, he's an absolute gentleman and. and you know, we spent the night at Dagenham with Tony, and, and you speak to him. He's, he's the way he presents himself. He's, he's smart. He's, he's everything you'd want. Like you say, granddad, family figure, all that stuff. He's, he's an absolute gentleman. But, but we don't know what goes on behind the door. We don't know what's expected from Tony. All we know is that every time we see him, he's got a big smile on his face. He's big hand, big hand, uh, good handshake, big cuddle. Uh, but ultimately, in football, that's not everything. Um, and, and for whatever reason, Tony's stepping down and moving away. You know, we don't know that. He's um, he, he's been an unbelievable servant to the football club in the last ten years, and certainly while we've been here, like you say, he's everybody and everything you want to work with. Um, so we wish him all the best in, in, in the future. We hope to see him down here on a, on a on a regular basis. And with that, nothing changes for me and John O's relationship with Tony. Um, and 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 that's you know that's that. It's it's an emotional you know to see him out there, and he'll be gutted. I'm I'm sure he will because he's met good friends here. But again, ultimately, he's here to do a job. Um, and and with that, you know, he's it's it's it's. it's Listen, the nature of the beast is Tony walks away and ultimately, you know, we're at the same thing. If we don't deliver, then, you know, we'll, you know, we'll be stepping down next season as well. So, but no, absolute gentleman um, and, and hopefully we keep in touch with him.